folks, how you doing? This is take two, I'm afraid. Uh, I messed up the first time. I was talking about sandpaper tonight. So uh, I have a lot to show you, and uh, we only got 10 minutes on this video, so might as well get started. This is black colored sandpaper, it's wet dry. It's uh, waterproof sandpaper, and uh, this is really good for uh, sanding if you got water on your surface and you can remove material quicker with water, but sometimes you can't put water on the things that you're sanding, so uh, this is really good sandpaper. This is uh, ordinary sandpaper that you normally use on woodworking, and uh, of course most of these sandpapers are interchangeable between auto body repair and woodworking, So, but most of the sandpapers are for woodworking and wood finishing. I want to talk about grits. In the grits and the sandpaper, <coughs> you need to move up very slowly from a coarser grit, which is a larger stone embedded in the paper with glue. You want to move up uh, slowly between your numbers or you're going to leave scratches. So uh, a good number to start with would probably be a 60 grit or an 80 grit. And then move up to a 150 would be the next number you would look for on the back of the sandpaper to sand with. And the 150 would remove the scratches that the 80 would leave, or the 60 would leave. And then you'd want to go up to a 220. And 220 is your finishing sandpaper in wood. Whereas in automobiles and auto body, auto body repair, you'd probably be dealing with a 320 or a 400 grit, which is finer again. But don't concern yourself with that if you're working with wood. Wood, probably your final grit is going to be 220. So we discussed the grits and uh, the different kinds of sandpapers. Remember the black is for water, but you can also use it dry as well. Generally the colored sandpapers are a little bit higher quality, like an aluminum oxide or similar. And your uh, garnet type papers are a little bit lower quality, but they're still good. They still remove material very quickly. Now there is some very poorly grade sandpapers and you'll feel the stones come off on those. Uh, if the stones will stay put, and the stone, what I'm talking about by the stones, I'm talking about the, the rough feel, the rough side of the sandpaper. Those are actually little tiny stones embedded with glue in the paper. So that's some things to consider with your sanding. Now I'll talk about sanders. This is a nice little sander. This is a dual actual, dual, dual action random orbital sander and it makes little orbits in the head and these holes if you can see right here is a dust collection system the dust collects here in the bag this removes material very quickly and is a high quality sander and it's generally not too expensive generally maybe 59 69 79 dollars in around that price range but they're a good little sander high quality there's a palm sander. It takes a quarter sheet of sandpaper. One of the nice things about the palm sander is that you can buy standard sheets of sandpaper to put on it and you can tear them into quarter sheets. You don't need to buy specialized papers with the hook and loop like you do with the random orbital. Uh, this is a palm sander and they're really cheap too and these are great for the homeowner. They remove material very quickly as well and don't underestimate these. These are good little sanders. Uh, but they're more for the homeowner, and they move material only about half as fast as the other sander I just showed you. Now this, really need to get material down really quickly. Move it very quickly. This is the baby. This brute will rip the surface off very quickly if you put a 36 grit paper on it. Or a 40 grit paper. And this is fast moving. This is a belt sander. And it's made for flat surfaces. Excuse me it's able to remove material very quickly. So this is a, a bit of a brute force and then you can use this and you can finish up with the other sanders if you really need to remove a lot of material off the surface. And this will also make a nice straight flat surface as well if you got bumps and lumps. This will take them out. So anyway, there's a little bit of information for you about sandpaper and sanders. I hope uh, this is a help to you and uh, have a nice day.